Hey guys, my name's Overpowered, and welcome back to the channel. And, uh, or welcome, or welcome back to the channel. And, uh, in today's video, if you already clicked on the video, then you already know what this video is going to be about. And that's going to be about Void 3.0. The This update was amazing thing to happen to destiny uh, the reason being is that as you can see i'm taking out taking out all these enemies just one at a time or not even just one at a time now that i have void 3.0 on my side with um Sabathum being annoying the most annoying little hive in the system and i will go over some theories about the witch queen and the storyline of it so Let's um make sure to like, subscribe, turn on those notifications if you are new so you never miss another upload. And so let's get into it. Hey guys, so let's get started with what I was talking about. So uh, this build will take over the PvE by storm because with a lot of updates, probably I hope will come with better artifacts, and uh, I will make a video on that if you guys do need some information about it. Um, as you can see, uh, boy, your boy coming in hot with the new Witch Queen DLC. Rocking the void going oil like yo, this is not nothing to mess with right now If you do mess with it uh, in PvP um, Well, I mean, I don't know since I haven't tried it, but if you do mess with it, and it's really good Well, you might as well delete the game because it has no meaning and uh, yeah <laughs> Just kidding because obviously if you do delete the game that will be sad <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't know if this works, this but build works in PvP overall, but we're gonna have to see in the end. So, we're gonna have to stay tuned to the end. So, with this build, I ain't gonna lie, this is gonna be pretty, pretty broken. As you can see, I'm taking them out like five at a time right now. I'm taking them out all at once with my, um, with this scout rifle, I forgot the name of it. And the stasis uh, burst rifle that I got from the Witch Queen campaign. As you can see, I'm taking them out super quickly. With that orb, it causes a debuff, and it's kind of like uh, um, when you pop my. As you can see, I'm going to pop my rift right here. I'm going to pop it right here, and I'm going to get that orb. Once I pop that orb, it's going to start um, shooting a projectile. It's going to be like Tether. Whoever's in that air facility, you will die. <laughs> and um, so, like, yeah, this is really good. But is this good in PvP? I will do some testing. And if you do want to see some Hunter, I know you guys love Hunter. Since you guys, like, ha I almost have 200 views on that Hunter video. So... I mean, yeah, I 100% will make a Hunter build video. But, um, I'm gonna have to do some testing on which one sounds good and which one fits best. Um, you can move this, uh, move this build around to your liking, but I just, personal preference, take this no joke. This, uh, build will, um, rely mostly on just long range and long capacity and uh in the, in the uh yeah last video i discussed um a lot about void items in void armor pieces that you need to collect within the witch queen or for the witch queen for that prep that prep i hope you guys really enjoyed that one because now it's now it's Witch Queen time. Time to take down Savage Doom. Time to take her head. <laughs> LOL. Which, yeah, I am trying to take her head. <laughs> um, because she takes the light, I'll take her. Um, so, I will take back the light. And uh, I've been trying to stream, but that 
hasn't been so successful, I will um, try to get it ready and back up um, possible. So yeah, let's get into it. And these are the mods that I use for Void. This is pretty nice um, with uh, Child of... Um, this gives you a Void Soul. Kind of like with Ark, it uses, uh, shoots out a projectile and uses um, kind of like Tether. And uh, yeah, um, Chaos um, works too. All these other mods you can copy down by pausing the video. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.